Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you the team I'm going to use for this week's Underspire. Really easy team to use this. Going to be a, a lot of fun as well when we get some devours going on with the old Black Manacles later on. Does damage to all enemies with a 20% chance to devour a random enemy if they're not already dead. Magnus can chip in with some damage to all as well, boosted by diseased and poisoned enemies, then diseased and poisoned all enemies. And uh, if you're a newer player, then certainly look out for those four or five gem matches, because those random status effects can be super useful. And Dark Master is here. We're going to have a Thrall up top. This is going to destroy magic-based gems. Takes a bit of damage, but we don't care about that. But it gets bonus purple from purple gem matches. But if we lose that Thrall, the Dark Master can be there to basically bring in another one and deal some damage at the same time. So as soon as we get our Thrall up, we can explode or destroy the board, charging up the rest of the team and doing that nice quick damage to all. Um, with the summon as well, really simple, straightforward team, but we want purple, so we're going to be in Archmage's class for this. A fantastic class for lots of purple. All Mystics gain two life, that is the hero. Gain one magic when an ally casts a spell that boosts up the power of our damage to all weapon. Gain two bonus purple when matching purple is really nice. Uh, talent trees, we can have stuff like magical shield, Dark Hunger, steal life from the first enemy when matching purple gems is cool. Anti-Magic Sphere is good. Mana Source is great. Antiquity, I think. Oh, does it matter? We'll have that one. Arcane Surge, gain even more extra purple. And Mystic Channel, all Mystics gain two magic and life when an enemy dies. And indeed, Thrall himself actually gives us even more purple. So this is like purple crazy. Really cool. And uh, that is it. It can be just charge a team up and just wreck. The banner for this is going to go for a plus two purple, plus one brown, minus one green obsidian banner from the obsidian depths. Right, this is not going to take long. In the early stages, you can pop the black manacles to the top. It's going to be the quickest way to do it because that would have probably got it charged ordinarily. But this way around, we can just do it like this. Cast manacles and drop done. Let's grab our free lantern from Mr. Happy. And go on to the next. Like well, I say, early stages, you can actually do it that way around. Don't need the mana. Whenever you cast Black Mana Calls and you're wiping out the enemy in a single go, got three times nice shot on for this, then you may as well pop Mana Calls to the top. Don't need to get all these, but I will anyway, because I'm greedy. And I like stuff and things so yeah this would be um, probably good for me for a little while only if I have to start casting my black manacles again or twice but I think about swapping Thrall and manacles around but as soon as you can just do that every time that is literally all you got to do black manacles such a good weapon Absolutely love it. Purple going on at the bottom. We'll grab that bit of blue first. In fact, we'll grab that from there. Oh, everyone's nearly dead anyway. What happened? Everyone just sort of conked out as it went along. Phew. Kind of missed that. Uh, up or right, 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 right. There's no purple going on, you can grab some brown instead. And if there's no brown or purple going on, then you're going to have to wait a while. Oh, we have got one, there it is. And onwards and upwards. So yeah, it's going to be very straightforward. When you have to multicast, like cast your black manacles and your magnus, more than once, that's certainly when I to cast, put, or put my uh, Thrall to the top, I think. But these early stages of Underspire are going to be a casual stroll through the woods in the early stages. Go down, going underground. Oh, that's our, actually our last one. So let me get the team code now. Let me make sure I've got it so I can... Look at it in a bit. 
when I do the video, take a screenshot of that. There we go. The amount of times I've got to do that and then had to buy another 50 gems or something to get this, just, just to get the um, team code. Or use a lantern, but I didn't really want to use one or something. Ah. The things I do. Get it anyway, because I'm greedy. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, really easy, simple team for Underspire this week. Gonna romp through the Underspire. I think might actually might actually try and finish it this week. I don't often finish it, but the rewards are actually pretty good for, for doing it all. So I may well actually take the effort to complete this week's Underspire. But there it is, there's the video. If you enjoyed it, found it useful or helpful, be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button, it really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching. I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.